He's mm, mm, mm. really a good goldfish. He's really up in there. Oh, oh, oh. Toby tree! Ah. No, Toby! No! What the heck? You ate the marble! Oh. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today, I'm going back to my roots. I'm going back to wearing the same outfit every day. It's just so much more convenient. I never had to choose what I had to wear. So now I'm just uh, sticking to this pizza shirt and uh, my plaid hat. Remember when I wore this for like 100 street videos? Anyway, back to our roots. Yeah. Speaking of roots, let's try some five minute crafts. Okay, so I think this would be a fantastic gift for Tori Dobransky. But I'm gonna completely overdo it. Which means I'm gonna need even more flip-flops. Let's make some platform flip-flops. So first things first, I'm gonna have to take all of these things off. Besides uh, the two that I decide to put on the top. Let's see, so I'm gonna have to go yellow, green, pink, yellow, green, pink, yellow, green. How do I end up with two of these? Pink, yellow. Okay, so it looks like I'm saving these. You guys survive. But the rest of you, I have to take all these things off. So just, oh, okay. One down, all of these to go. Okay, so now that we have all these done, I guess we're not gonna need these anymore. So now I guess it's time for the fun part. We're gonna glue all of them together. The only thing is, I'm not sure if I want them like this, or if I want them like this. I guess this kinda looks pretty cool, so I guess I'll go ahead and do it like this so you can see all the different layers. Oh, here we go. Carefully put this on, line it up. Now the other side. Just like a little sandwich. Cool! Now I just gotta do that uh, 14 more times. I'm gonna be here a while, aren't I? So I was actually supposed to put these on the bottom. I kinda messed up the order a little bit, but you know what? It still looks fine. It's cool. Carefully. And last but not least, the top ones. Okay, just like magic! Whoa! Look at that! These are freaking flip-flops. That Tori's gonna be like a foot taller than me now. Oh my gosh, what? Now let's have Tori try them on. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Yes? Come here, I got you a gift. <gasps> Whoa, this is so cool, they look like little hamburgers. Yeah? I want you to try them on, but before we do that, I want everyone to see how tall I am compared to you right now, okay? Okay, okay guys, so this is before the shoes. No, Rob, you're squatting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm about three inches taller than Tori and Brant. I'm just kidding. Tori and Brant's gonna be, we're about the same height, see? We're the same height. Oh. Put on your shoes. Whoa. How are they? Are they good? Do you like it? What do you think? They're very wobbly. I don't know if I can move. Here, try walking around in them. <laughs> Will these be your new every day? No. <laughs> they're fun, but they're a little wobbly. Whoa, look at her walk in them. Goodbye. Wait, Tori, no, come back. We have to compare our height. Come back. Come on. Oh, no, I have to go all the way back. Um, <laughs> and this is how tall Tori Dabransky is now. Oh. How's the weather up there? Very nice. <laughs> Very sunny. Look at that, look at that. Well, Tori Dabransky, I really hope you like your new gift. Well, I do. These are pretty. Oh, God, don't let go of me, please. I really like it. It's pretty fun. I wish it weren't so wobbly, but I kind of, I, I enjoy them. Would you say that these work? I do, I would say these work. Ooh. Well guys, I guess it's Tori Dabrowski approved, so I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <gasps> okay, now I need help. Here, I'll lift you out of them. <gasps> oh, thank you. That worked so well. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our toilet brush. Oh no! Guys, we have a problem! It's not even dirty! It looks like we're gonna have to fix that. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh... Get all these dirty dishes out of here. I need to dirty up a toilet brush. Okay, so here's our toilet brush. Now what do we have in here that we can dirty it up with? Let's see, we got some barbecue sauce. We got some chocolate. What else can we use in here? Uh, <gasps> mashed potatoes! These babies are like three weeks old. Okay guys, we got our brush. Now we're just gonna start adding stuff to it. You ready? Oh, oh, oh yes! Get our barbecue sauce and just smother it right all up on it. We have to make sure that this craft is accurate. We're doing it for the integrity of the craft. Then maybe a little bit of chocolate. Ooh, yummy. Perfect. I think 
think we're all ready to try out this craft. Then we're gonna boil some water. Moments later. Boop -bitty boop. So are you guys ready for the moment of truth? Oh gosh, this looks so gross. <laughs> so here's our toilet cleaner. Just gonna go ahead and put that on there. Ooh, yummy. And then supposedly this hot water will just clean everything off. Oh wow. I mean, it's having a hard time with the mashed potatoes, but it's definitely getting clean. Oh, wow. It really fogged up my camera. Oh my gosh, I could almost wash my dishes with this. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay guys, so here's our locking key. And the first thing we gotta do apparently is heat it up. So I'm gonna use my blowtorch. It's not really changing color. I mean, it's it's like turning red hot, but like, I think I might actually have to use a normal lighter on this. There we go, now it's actually turning black. Looks pretty good. I think I have to let this cool down for a second. It didn't really say to, but I know if I touch this with uh, my tape, it's just gonna end up melting to the tape. So I'm just gonna put this down for a second and let it cool down. Five minutes later. So I think it might be cooled down enough uh, so we get some tape, center our key, and then carefully put our tape right on there. Boopity boop. Make sure it gets all the soot. And in theory, when we go to take this off, we should have a perfect replica of our key. Oh! Oh, wow! Guys, and it looks like we actually have a replica of our key. Well, don't need the key anymore. So now we get our water bottle, cut out a section of it, attach the tape to the clear plastic, and then we carefully cut out a key. Be very careful, cut out the exact shape, and there's our key. And here's a comparison to the original. They look like they could be uh, close enough. Now let's try it out. Put that in there. In theory. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! Guys, it's not working. I feel like the plastic is too flimsy. I think if you did this with a can, it might work, but not with a bottle. So for me, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. Okay guys, so this was basically my first wireless keyboard. It's been with me through thick and thin. As you can see, it's pretty worn down. Um, it, it still works, uh, but I actually retired it because it doesn't work that great anymore. Oh man, this thing has been through some shit. But it doesn't look like it's that dirty to me. So I think we're gonna have to make this thing a little bit more dirty. And to do that, I have this jar of goldfish. Here we go. Now I'm gonna eat over my keyboard. As painful as this may be, I'm sorry in, adv in advance. Um, anyway. Oh, mm, I love to crush up my goldfish before I eat them and just, uh, you know, just. Mm, mm, mm. There's some really good goldfish. It's really up in there. You know what? Just use my keyboard as a plate. It's perfect. Mmm, yummy. Hey, you know what? That's not enough. I need to type an email really quick, just uh... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty, well, that's pretty dirty to me. Well, just uh, there you go, just really get it up in there. Cool, awesome, great. So now we just break out our vacuum, get our ketchup dispenser, take off the lid, and boom, bam, you ready? Oh no! I don't think it's gonna fit. My, my vacuum is just a little too big. It's okay, I can, I can make this work. You see that? Oh no, it's getting clogged. It's okay, I have a solution. Just make the hole bigger. Oh, you can hear the suction. Just really get up in your keyboard and just suck out all the little crumbs. Yeah, it's definitely sucking up all the little crumbs. Turn this off. Oh man, now that keyboard is so much cleaner. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this life hack actually works. This is fantastic. And even better, I still have the top so I can use it for my ketchup. These people are absolute geniuses. Okay guys, so here's our sponge. Now we're gonna go ahead and get some scissors and just start uh, cutting it up. Rip out the middle. But does it hold soap? We're about to find out. Oh my what? Who knew that this sponge could hold soap? I'm amazed. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works.
Okay guys, so here's the tote I'm gonna be using. It's actually the Pokeball tote that I painted in one of my last videos. If you guys wanna watch that, you can actually click right up here. Also guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every Friday, so uh, make sure to turn on your notifications as well. Now that all the self promo's over, we're gonna go ahead and cut this, just like this. And then it kinda goes in a little bit sharply, like that. One side down, now for the other. Boobity boo. Oh yes, clean this stuff up right here, I guess. Now we have ourselves a little apron. But first we gotta cut off this part right here. here now unfortunately, uh, I have good vibes only on the other side. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I was thinking of actually just cutting it right here. That way it's not upside down. I'll see you later, bottom of the apron. Admittedly, I could have probably cut this a little bit nicer. So now we take this strap, we get our sewing kit, and then we sew this strap right on the back. Just like that. And I'm gonna cut this strap in half and sew it to the other side. Boobity boo. Yeah, this is starting to look like an actual apron. Well, uh, nothing to do now but uh, try it on. I think it might actually fit. Let's go ahead and put it over my hat. Oh, it's a tight squeeze with my hat on. Then we tie it around. No! That's what I was scared of. The back part is a little bit too short. It's a little bit small for me. Um, I can't actually tie it. If these straps were longer, I think it might actually make a good apron. Besides that, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Amazing five minute crafts. I'm actually so impressed. <laughs> This is taking forever. And that's exactly why we're trying out this life hack. I well, don't need that anymore. Go ahead and grab this, and this. I'm just gonna pull this over here. Now we turn on our hose. Okay, you guys ready for this? Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. It's getting so sudsy. Well guys, this one's actually working pretty good. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay guys, here's our bottle, here's our straw, and now we need like a nail or a screw or something. Boobity boop. Uh, yeah, this ought to do. Perfect. Then we're gonna break out our handy dandy blowtorch and just heat up our screw. Carefully put it in the bottle cap. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we just shove in our straw. Shove it in, shove it in. Oh no! I messed up, guys. I'm gonna need to break out my glue gun. That way we can actually make it seal. Let's see, where's my glue gun? Boobity boop. Oh yes, hot glue and 3D pen supplies. 6A. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six A. Perfect. Okay, glue this bad boy on. Admittedly, I feel like I've done this one a couple of times, but I probably haven't, maybe just something very similar. Because I remember the problem I had with this one, whenever I hot glued the straw, it would melt. But you know, five minute crafts would never, never in a million years repeat their crafts. It's not like them. Let that cool down for a second, then we put it on. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Wow, look at how much range we have on this straw. It's perfect. Now I'm gonna fill this bad boy up with water. Boom, boom, boom. Put our top back on. Now it's time to test this thing out and water some plants. Introducing my backyard. Oh, all these flowers look so thirsty. Oh, yes, just get right up into the flower. It's perfect. It's bu this is great. I can individually water every single flower. My flowers are gonna be so happy. But also, did I mention all of these are actually fake? Haha, <laughs> you've been pranked. Take that. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. So here's our microfiber towel. Here's our pot lid. Boobity boo. Now let's test it out on the couch. So here's our couch. And as you may or may not be able to see, it is incredibly covered in dog and cat hair. Just so much hair everywhere. So now we're gonna give it the good old one, two. You ready for this? Oh, yes. Let's really get it all up in there. Ah! This is truly how you're supposed to clean a couch. Admittedly, this does look cleaner. But it doesn't look like, I mean, did it stick? Oh wow, actually a lot of hair did stick to this microfiber cloth. You can't really see it, but it's actually kind of picking it up. Well, 
I don't know actually. I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. It kind of more or less just moves all the hair around, I think. So yeah, it kind of works. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our poppet. And then we have to get a bunch of marbles apparently. I kinda lost my marbles, so I don't think I can- I'm Just kidding, they're right here. I didn't lose my marbles. Well, not literally. I only lost my marbles metaphorically. Oh! No, I actually lost my marbles. Make sure they all get their own little hole. Wow, look at them, so round, so perfect. They're like little Tobies. Little what? Little Toby, see? Is that a Toby tree? <laughs> no, Toby! No! What the heck? You ate the marble! Oh! Was I not supposed to eat that? No, Toby! I hope you're gonna be okay. Toby! I'm a tennis ball! <laughs> <laughs> See, Robbie? I got it right out! <laughs> uh, is it okay for me to touch this? Like, isn't this kind of gross? I mean, if you think of it that way, I guess. Uh, uh. Toby, get out of here. But do you need help with the crap? No, get out! Here. And then we get our hot glue gun and just smother it all over these marbles. I'm gonna need a lot more hot glue. Okay, now we're gonna let our molten marble poppet foot massager thing cool down and then we'll try it. Three weeks later. Okay, it's nice and cooled down. Let's see if it comes out. Oh my gosh, that came out so easily. Wow. Okay, time to see how this is as a foot massager. Let's do it. We're just gonna go ahead and... Oh no, I lost a marble! It's okay, I can pop it back in. See, there we go. And I take off my shoe. Now let's see how satisfying this is. Are you ready? Oh! Wow! So satisfying! Actually, that feels pretty good. Oh, I lost more marbles. No. It feels pretty nice. Do the other foot. Oh, wow. Actually? Oh, that feels so nice on the arch of my foot. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to say that this one is actually pretty nice. It feels so nice on my feet. So I guess we could say it works. Okay guys, so here is my bathroom. It's a little bit smelly because of Thomas's litter box. But you know, I'm hoping that every time we flush, it'll make the smell go away. Hopefully, that's the idea. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove the top. And we get some of our fabric softener and just dump it in there, I guess. I really hope this doesn't break the toilet. Come on, fabric softener. So we got a little bit inside the bowl. Um, it looks a little gross, but you know what? I think it'll I think it'll work. Put this back on top. And now we're gonna flush our toilet. I'm just gonna let it waft in here. Oh yes! And that definitely smells a lot better. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Now it smells like fresh lavender every time I flush my toilet. Okay guys, it's about noon now. And you know what that means. It's time for my noon time now. I can't sleep. So I guess I'll watch some Netflix until I get tired. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now let's try it with our hack. So I don't have a poppet on the back of my phone, but I do have this love handle. It's the same concept, but it's a strap. I like the strap because I just, that's what I, I like it, okay? We're just gonna go ahead, put it in our toe like that. Oh wow, this is amazing. And I can just watch Netflix like this. And the phone won't fall on my face. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I'm going back to take my nap. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Oh, that's fine right down there. Also, if you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. I upload videos every single Friday. If you guys like this video, I guess why don't you try even more fun life hacks? I actually have an entire playlist that can be doing that right here. If that doesn't sound fun, I also have a playlist where I do a bunch of pranks. Do some really crazy makeup. And then there's always the mystery card. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ending? Okay, bye. Ah!